Hello friends, this is Sunil and welcome back to my channel IT Junction for All. In this video, I am going to discuss about scenario based interview question and answer part 22. First, the input table. There are two input table. First table name is sales table. Sales table has the information about the sales that has happened on that particular sales date and the uh, and the sales amount. It also has the currency column which is either in INR or GVP. Now the exchange rate table. Exchange rate table has the columns namely source currency, target currency, exchange rate and the effective start date. It basically it contains the exchange rate value if you are converting from a source currency to target currency. For example, if you are converting from INR to USD dollar, the exchange rate applicable is 0.014 and th this rate is applicable if the sales has happened on or after 31st December 2019 till 1st January 2020. If the same INR conversion, uh, uh, if the sales has happened on and after 2nd of January, to, uh, 2nd of January 2020, then the conversion rate from INR to USD dollar will be changed from 0.014 to 0.015. So this exchange rate table has the exchange rate information and their uh, effective start date. Now the problem statement. Write a SQL query to get total sales amount in USD for each sales date as shown below. So if you see the sales table once again, whatever sales has happened uh, uh, on, uh, on each sales date, suppose for sales uh, done on uh, 1st of January, there are two rows and we, what we have to do, we have to get the total sales amount in USD. Currently, the sales amount is there in the local currency that is either in INR, that is Indian rupees or GVP, that is British pound. We have to get that converted by using uh, or by uh, having a lookup on the exchange rate table and then calculate the total sales amount in USD. So this is the problem statement. Let's see how we can do this in SQL Server. In order to solve this problem, let's revisit our input tables and define our strategy. Let's fire both the table. So here are the two tables, sales, tab sales table and the exchange rate table. So if you see the first row, that is the sales date, the first row that the sales date for 1st January 2020, the currency is INR. Now in order to convert this INR to USD dollar, we have to find the exchange rate. If you see the exchange rate table, we have two exchange rate value that is 0.014 and 0.015. So first we have to find which, which is the correct exchange rate for this conversion because we have the two exchange rate available. So if you see the sales date that is 1st January 2020. So if you see the effective start date that is 31st December 2019 and the second one has 2nd January 2020. So you cannot directly compare the sales date of the sales table and uh, with the effective start date of the uh, exchange rate table. So what we have to do? We have to derive another column with name as effective in date and it will have the value that is one less day one less date than the second row that is the second row is ending with 2nd january 2020 so this if uh, the first row will have effective in date is 1st january 2020 so effective start date will be 31st december 2019 and effective end date will be 1st january 2019 Sorry, 1st first January 2020. Similarly, for the second row, uh, the, the effective start date is 2nd January 2020 and, and this rate is continuing till date and it 
till another exchange rate value comes so what what will be the value of that effective end date that we will give very high end date that is 9999 so in order to achieve this what we will do we will do uh, we will make use of lead function so if you see my query here i have used a lead function wherein i am uh, i am passing effective start date because i am calculating lead on the effective start date column and i am partitioning by source currency so on the on the partition uh, i am doing a partition by source currency and uh, if you see the value the second row value uh, that row value that is second of january 2020 will come over here in the first row and and i am doing a minus 1 day so it will come as first january 2020 now in the second row it will come as null and that's why i have used is null function and i have populated as very high in date similar uh, logic applies for gbp also here uh, again the second row minus 1 day will come over uh, come will come over in the third row as in date and the for the fourth row uh, again that uh, uh, fifth row minus one day will come as end date and for fifth row very high end date will come so if i uh, let me show you through the code so i let me run this sub query where i have calculated the effective end date see we have the effective start date 31st december 2019 now using the lead function uh, what i am doing i am taking this row uh, this this value uh, as a effective in date minus i am doing a minus one day similarly uh, for because as we have used lead function and partition by source currency there is uh, we can uh, this value will be populated as null so i have used is null function and i have populated very high in date so same concept applies for gbp also now our second motto is to derive total sales amount in usd for each sales date so in order to derive this total sales amount in usd first we have to make a join inner join between the sales table and the exchange rate table you can see over here i have used select start from sales table a and i have given alias as a and then i am doing a inner join with the exchange rate table wherein i am selecting source currency exchange rate effective start date and this is the derived column that is effective in date by using lead function let me remove this order by clause this is not needed and i am joining on the table a wherein i am uh, selecting a dot currency is equal to b dot source currency and then i am uh, i am comparing a dot sales date between b dot effective start date and b dot effective end date so here only the valid exchange rate uh, row will be selected from the exchange rate table after that i am doing a group by sales date and then i am finding the sum fun i am using some function over uh, sales amount into b dot exchange rate this will give as the total sales amount in usd dollar for each sales date now if i run this full piece of code here you are able to see the total sales amount in us in usd dollar for each sales date so that's all for this video if you have liked my video please do like it and do subscribe my channel thank you and thanks for watching